now it's time for our Monday morning pop and we're joined by two members of a band who uh, we haven't heard a lot of recently because two and a half years ago Kajagoogoo shot to the top of the charts with a record called Too Shy that was followed by a much publicized split in the band when lead singer Limal left to follow a solo career now the group have since changed their name to just Kadja dropping the goo goo and Nick Beggs and Stuart Neal have joined us this morning for a chat but we will first take a look at the video for their new single which is called Shouldn't Do That Well, a funky sound for Kadja there, back on the scene now. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of when you came in here two and a half years ago, just after you'd been launched, and there were the, there were the five members of you mm -hmm. sitting in here as Kadja Gugu, and now it's just the two of you. What's no, happened? What's well, been going there's, on? there's three of us in the band. Um, of course, Limal left, and uh, Jez has gone too now. And I think that was one of the reasons we wanted to just change. You know, we are a completely different outfit now. We are, in fact, three-piece. Uh, yeah, that's right. Steve is not present with us this morning, but um, it's still the same old happy family. <laughs> <laughs> As it was two and a half years As ago. As you well yeah. remember. But you, the, the, the launch that happened and everything, I mean, it was, it was all very much, here come the next Duran Duran. Kajagoogoo are going to follow on from Duran Duran and everything. Did that all sour a bit, or wasn't it even how you saw it in the first place? No, I think that was something that was more put ar around by other people. We never said that. And... Um, it can be a bit of a stigma, that sort of thing, you know, as you can imagine, like having a number one first time off and, and then the big split. It becomes like press fodder in a way. And yes, I think it's a, it's a very exciting time now because it's a new sounding record, yeah. hopefully, and um, we're very pleased with the album that is, we're going to release very shortly to go with it. But I think you've always got to move on in some way or else people will tend to find that um, you know it's a little too stayed the format stays the same you, you certainly have moved on in terms of the image um, you've lost all the beads Nick mm. that, that were there the beads and the very blonde hair that was there and you, you seem to have um, is it hardened up the image would be the expression I mean you've got the, 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 the black clothes and everything you've gone away from the colors that you used to wear I, I suppose it would be the obvious thing to say yes that's the way it is but it it's not really as straightforward as that. It was, we've been through quite a lot of changes since the old mm. days, since we last saw each other, actually. Yes. And um, just because we haven't been in the public eye doesn't mean that we haven't gone through lots of different um, ideas, you know. This is what we've arrived at. What pressures have there been on you to perform and deliver the goods, for instance, for the record company? Because you, you, you were signed off on a fairly big deal mm -hmm. with EMI Records. And there must have been a great pressure from them to say, come on, keep making the hits. Oh, we just tell them to wait. Yeah, we say, <laughs> behave yourself. <laughs> no, it's, it's very important not to let any pressures like that and overtake your creativity. And but all that success that you had two and a half years ago, instant as it was, it, it, mm. it, I mean, it, it lasted for quite some time in terms of the pop business, it lasted, lasted quite some time. Did you ever feel you were going to lose that success that you had? I think that um, we've always felt that... Um, we would be back on the scene in a similar p position. Um, I think you can never guarantee that in, in any circumstance. Mm, just self-confidence, I guess, and believing in what you're doing. That's you right. have to do that. Right. Well, it's good to see you back without the goo-goo. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter Powell at Radio 1 must be absolutely delighted because he called you Kadja from the first day that you came out anyway. Yeah, he certainly did. Shortened right. down to Kadja. So you are Kadja now. Yeah. Welcome back on the scene. I hope that that's going to be a hit for you. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Nick and Stuart, yeah. thanks for joining right. us.